Hello, my name is Shotelier, and welcome back for another episode of this uh, Succession uh, Treasure Hunt. And in previous episode, we actually managed to get the throne of Denmark back by dueling my brother, but I realized that I'm not part of the Wolf Warrior, so let's fix that. Because it didn't accept or take the click at the start. A sparring match. And I won the duel. Okay, Finland declared war on... Did you war over... Wait, what? Oh, they're fighting over... Okay, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway, let's continue our looting here. So we can maybe at some point return home. And I'm now part of the Wolf Warriors, and apparently I'm partly bald, but... Oh well. We've got already almost 600 gold in our boats. She needs familiar faces around her. Definitely. Okay, so we are building the shipyard in our capital. And the sieges around here are going with a decent speed. And someone is raiding us. I think more than just one person. Oh yeah, there's Donor's horse over there. Okay, let's have a look at their ships now. How much do we have? 700. Ooh. I mean, we could probably do a quick trip to... I don't know. Actually. Constantinople. Well, they have been looted at some point, or at least she's down some, at some point, so... Is there anything? There's nothing to loot there. Let's hop back to the boats. Maybe a quick trip to Amalfi wouldn't be a bad idea. Or Rome. Well, let's go for Rome. Rome is always nice this time of year. Aha! A daughter! Mitchfred. So at least I do have an heir. Unfortunately, I don't think she can inherit anything. I mean, I could technically vote for my daughter. That's true. We'll do that for now. Am I heir to anything right now? No. Actually, if we are raiding Rome, we might want to do the trick at some point of sending the ships back. Although I do think it's a bit of an exploit. But I kind of do want to raise Rome a little bit, so... Let's see how far we go after this. We are at 800. Okay, we can probably seize down the castle and then send some... Oh, they are sending troops this way. Too bad they're gonna die. Pikemen mostly, some heavy infantry archers, so it's not gonna be easy. I think we can take them out. Oh yeah, that was a <laughs> bit of a massacre. Lost 1400. Uh, sure, we can do a sacrifice for Odin. Because why not? Now, I, yeah, I'll probably save the points for that, so... Pagan Homeland defensive bonus, all the attrition goes away. Uh, I'll get the stressed. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? So we got the shipyard in our capital already, and we raided... Uh, ships are still not full. But once we raid the next city, it might uh, go pretty high.
I shall be master of strategy. Okay. That's uh, fine by me. And I actually... No, I can't. I, I could go berserk. What? Someone might get hurt. Yeah, uh... Do I want to be inspiring leader? That would give morale, defense, and damage. On the other hand, being a siege leader is not a bad one either. Let's actually take that one. Because if that's going to speed up the sieges, that's going to be... Oh, yeah. It's going to make things a lot faster, isn't it? Okay, we are pretty close to full. But what we'll do is... Uh, Hold on. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Didn't work quite how I wanted, and now if I combine the fleets... I can try this again. Wait, what? Oh, come on. Close that. We can combine these two, can't we? I'm, I'm not an expert on this, to be fair. So I'm assuming if I move more than that over there, if we move like those and then select this... Yeah, now it works. It's carrying a lot of gold, so we'll also send you back. And the ships that we have there should still be more than enough, so we don't need to worry about bringing it back. Although... These probably need to be combined. Let's just uh, seize down Rome. See if I can get anything out of the, or anything out of the treasuries of the people there. Although I don't know if they have. Well, Pope directly owns uh, a lot of these, so we might be. The Pope does have. A... No, it's just the same finger bone. Okay then. Okay then, um... Yeah, sure, we can be friends. I don't want to make my wife jealous though, so we can't go too far. Okay, someone died. Okay, one way is to spare match. Sure. We can do a duel. Oh, I lost the duel. Oh my. So I'm actually wounded right now. But technically, well, I'm prawning, so I do have the health. So it shouldn't be too bad. And there's no shame in. Acknowledging it better. Okay, so we see loot down that one. That gave us a fair bit of extra loot. And our ships are almost home. Excellent. Uh, I'll just uh, disband this. Yeah, the, those ships were probably somewhere from somewhere else. So there's that, but oh well. We'll loot Rome and then maybe Genoa, and then we'll head back home. I mean, quite frankly, you're seizing down Rome with... It's only two more bishoprics that... It should go pretty fast. And maybe on our way out we could take our loot from Amalfi as well. So, Lombardy, yeah, they had a bit of a rebellion, but that's over now. So, the heir is now my aunt. What? Okay, then. Right, so, one of my brothers is already, well, is under the king or Jarl of Finland. Anyway, let's uh, keep on going. We can probably speed up a little bit. I think I'll resist my foul impulses right now. We do need the piety anyway. Oh, and we got plenty of prestige right now, so let's upgrade something in our capital. 
We'll take the weaponsmith, actually. And then continue shooting down Rome. Conversion of pests. Part of Bulgaria. And they are now iconoclasts. Oh. That is interesting. So how much did we get? Loot another 200. Okay, let's get into the boats. Go over the Genoa. Hopefully we can seize it down. At least seize down the city itself. Oh, they are sending in troops. It's only 22 men though, so it shouldn't be too bad. And who? Oh, it is Lombardy. Georgie has converted uh, to Germanic faith. Excellent. So we can move our seer again. Uh, we'll convert that one. We'll just go along here and convert the lands that we own. But once we get our ships full, we will head back. Okay, we got a fair bit of loot from that. Seizing down the castle might take a little bit too long, quite frankly. But we'll see if we can do that. Okay, that's another place looted. So, we got almost 400 again. Ooh, I'm brilliant strategist. That means that we got 27 martial skills, so how much armies could we have? 6,000, almost 7. Okay, I'm... I'll allow it. And how are we doing here? Uh, it's a little bit longer, then we'll hop for Amalfi, and then we'll probably head home. To get into the ships, we already got nearly 500 gold again. So, Amalfi should be fairly simple to raid. It's gonna be in two ticks. Or one now. Okay, so we see it down there. We've got over 500 now. Just need to see it down the castle and then the temple. Ah, another province convert. Oh my, the conversions have been going with tremendous speed. I don't think we can actually... Oh, we can move you. Hold on, it's almost time to reduce council powers again, isn't it? Uh, in two years. So, yes and no. Okay, so wife, why don't you get pregnant again and deliver me a son? Some random people in my prison. Okay, now I'm scarred. We got a lot of prestige already, so... That's pretty good. And the Byzantian army is there, so let's uh, hop off. How much money do we have? We got 600, so I guess we can return home now, so we can start taking out lands in Finland and Estonia. And then later on take on Norway. So, I don't have a mission right now, but I'm rather close to getting the... Oh yeah, again. 14 per month because of my martial skill mostly but okay uh, my other uncle is now my heir and I got two people that would vote for my law changes uh, without hesitation so that is good hopefully I can lower the council power a lot more uh, can I now move you no I not yet I could move you over there to convert that but I think I want to convert rest of Denmark first. And we are home. Let's uh, see. I'll put down the levees and the ships. And then we got retinue that we can combine over here, which is fairly large actually. We can get another commander over there. Now the question is, do we want to go for Denmark first? Not Denmark. I, okay, well, I mean, the Cedral is pretty close to Denmark, so I guess I'm confusing because of that, but Estonia first. If we take out these two, for example, I'm pretty sure that we can take them out without too much hassle. 
Just walk around there. We got plenty of gold, so perhaps we should do something with that. We could search for a smith, but it's a bit risky. I mean, we got already a lot of the things we require that we can get from a smith directly. I'm already writing the book. We could uh, hold Great Travel Festival. Which might be... Well, let's try that. I haven't done that before. Most of them are... Who are you? Sure, I guess you can join. I haven't actually done this to the Great Travel Festival before. Okay, stewardship for learning... Let's actually do that, we can afford losing some of the money. Of course, we could also... Well, no, we can't really build cities, can we? Welcome all! The disease resistance goes down for a little while, but tax modifier goes up. Quite, quite a bit. Splendid! Oh, okay, we got... <laughs> event spawned army to fight, uh, for example, here in Estonia. Here's a few coppers. Oh, good luck. There we go, so we got some improvements to our health. It might take a little bit of attrition. Oh, my marshal died. That's a shame. Yar of Yilin would like to be a marshal. Here he has... Uh, okay-ish marshal skill. And if I do that, he might actually like me. Okay, here's a glory hand now, but could be worse. And we are still a little bit away from... Actually, let's have a look. Well, no, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Once we have the Scandinavia, I mean, shouldn't be too far anyway. Eating contest. Uh, I think I'll be gaining the clutterness out of this, but... Mm, there's a chance of it. Okay, I'm known as the bottomless. Fair enough. So I'm following in uh, <laughs> more footsteps, I guess. But I'm not clutterness, so that's good. The offering. Glory to Thor. Father, father, cause Mitri is pulling my arm, beginning to play with her and her latest toy, completely oblivious to all the important work I'm in the middle of. Sometimes this can be really... can really be insufferable. Well... We can love our daughter a little bit. Okay, so what we'll do, since we haven't got any levies raised, we'll declare war for... For example, the border dispute wouldn't be a bad one, I think. Or false vassalization. Oh, we will lose 1,000 prestige. Maybe not that one, then. Ah, that's, uh... Okay, so we can't actually... Hmm... What about you? Well, you we can conquest easy. And Castle Wood vote well, yes, and... If I was to declare war on you... Oh, Castle Wood vote well, no, okay. Well, we'll send in the special troops first to seize down their capital. Should be fairly fast to war. Aha, wife is pregnant. Oh yeah, they do have the attrition bonus, don't they? Okay, well... We're not in a too bad situation. 
Okay, my Chancellor suggests that I would be benefit to the realm if I studied the languages spoken in a foreign course. He also offers himself to aid me in my studies. Hmm. I mean, learning is good, but having a... Oh! Uh, who is this? Just a kinsman. Okay, you can be Hjalmar then. I don't need to rename you, I don't think. Charging money for... Well, he kind of likes me, so... It's a bit disappointing, but... I'll let him be there, because he would be voting for me in the council... ...thingies. And I need to support... ...that is free. Chest paints. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, we're gonna create a kingdom of Estonia. So how far are we now? We are forty-nine percent. Huh. I don't know. I mean, how much armies does Norway have? Well, eight hundred from their own domain and up to five thousand from their vassals. But we're going to raise more than that, can't we? Oh yeah, we can. So all we need to do is send in these troops back, and then we'll start fighting Norway, I think. We'll see how well that goes, and we're going to rank up in the society. Why don't we do that? That should increase our martial skill even further. Okay, luckily we have a uh, decently good... Okay, um... Declaring de jure. Oh. Um, how strong is Novgorod? And secondly, would there be... Hmm. I don't know. There might be penalties for us going there. Well, you know what? Sure, we'll do that. So we're fighting that now, we can call in our vassal, our vassals, and then we can uh, raise up some armies. Let's make sure that we have a rally point. Okay, over there, good. Gather up the armies in there, and then we'll send them to fight the enemy. Okay, we got the cost. That's not good. So we'll probably want to slow down a little bit. I'll have some maids dispatched, I guess. We're gonna have paying that, can't we? We're not getting the attrition here. Oh, fever. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm having something bad here. Okay, yeah, we'll wait for a little bit longer, but we'll take out that Uzima tribe over there. And then if we take out some land from Savonia, which we might, later on, and then take out Norway, and that should make us pretty strong. Of course, if I was to create a kingdom of Estonia, I might be able to then get the Duke of uh, Estonia as my vassal. Then I could uh, give some of the lands around. Oh, right, we own this tribe now. Huh. So we're going to create uh, Duchy of Sakala and Kingdom of Estonia. Okay. Anyway, let's keep uh, fighting this war. The other army... Okay, there's still coming troops there. So we siege down that. Let's get into Ladoga, I think. Most of the vassals have seemed to join this war. Okay, our army over here is ready. I'll send them over there to siege down the war goal. Demonic? Oh no! No! I mean, hmm. So yeah, we take some attrition here. Technically, we might be able to... Can we build the fort here? We can. Because that is some one way to go around the attrition in... The pagan homelands. Because if we have a look at the attrition, we... Well, 
Um, let's see, he's fairly good. So my life is in your hands. Please heal me. I'm a lunatic now. Well, ain't that lovely. Let's make this quick. Pagan home one, yeah, it is. Let's build a fort over there. We can probably build a fort over there as well once we reach there, if we need to. We might not have to, because it is Germanic faith. But the attrition shouldn't be a thing here anymore. Well, once the fort is completed. There we go. Aha, uh -huh, I have a son. Will be called Mitchman. And now we just need to make sure that we vote for Mitch Man to be the king. Right, so I'm a lunatic. And I still have the mnemonic. I might die soon, and I don't think Mitch Man will be able to regain the throne unless. Well, first of all. Um. Actually, there are a fair few people that are voting for someone else than Major Man right now. We'll, we'll give it a month or two, assuming we can stay alive that long. Can't build the fort there right now, but once we get there ourselves... Aha, Commander improved. Excellent. I guess that works as well. I mean, yeah, we don't need to do that right now. We control the war goal, so that's good. Savonia is seizing down that, so we'll just move our armies down there to fight the enemies in this region. I mean, if we seize down the capital, that might be a nice one. Uh, decision wouldn't be a bad one to have, or bad trade to have. Okay, that is Lavik, so our supply limit over there is fairly low. Let's get over there to fight the enemies in the field. Actually, no, we'll be only fighting a small army. Okay, my marshal could be asked to... Is he in any of the factions right now? Yeah, he's part of that faction. Well, ask politely. Might not like it, but hopefully we can get something out of that. Very good. So yeah, he doesn't like me as much now, but at least he's not in part of any of the factions. Well, that's unfortunate. Someone escaped my prison. <laughs> You're sitting on the floor of your bed chamber wearing one of your shoes as a hat when suddenly a man-sized gopher enters the room. In stress as a maid and when you shout in alarm, the rodent squeaks and skitters away in panic. So chase down the hall but find only a terrified maid covering on the floor. Well, that's lovely. But hey, I lost the mnemonic. And uh, let's build the fort there. Should be completed very quickly. And how about we don't keep it paused instead of letting it run? Okay, we don't have that problem anymore, so we can just uh, siege down the places real quick. Okay, so we gain. We have 33% of the war score already. But yeah, I guess. Uh, this is why we want to get the military organization for as quickly as possible around here. Now that we got the legalism, well, we could just use a few points to increase popular customs. Not that we really need it, but speed up things a little bit. Right, so I'll move you there, I'll move this army over there. We'll just have to build the force as soon as we enter there. Like so. 
And luckily we arrived there on the first day, so we didn't take the attrition penalty. Someone converted to Orthodox fate again, okay. Okay, so I can get... I am already a siege leader, but... Maybe Lightfoot leader is not a bad one right now. Because most of our troops are still fairly light. Okay, here we will take a little bit of attrition. Once we get the fort, that should be fixed. I mean, sure, the forts cost a little bit, but they are somewhat cheap. Especially if you start to consider how much you need to use money and time to re- Oh! I think we need to go back. Back over there, so they can't get or regain that province. And I'm actually gonna have to end this episode here. So if you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And do check out the other people participating in the save. The next one will be Mitch Man, so make sure that you also subscribe to him so you will get the continuation of the saga. But anyway, other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.